become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to bring you what I would consider is the ultimate routine for ribcage expansion. After I recently made a video on the several factors that contribute to ribcage development, the obvious question I received was, how does one go about expanding the ribcage to enhance one's physique? Well, I believe I have covered this topic in previous videos in that the most common method as practiced in the silver era was to perform a set of 20 rep breathing squats supersetted with breathing dumbbell pullovers. However, in a recent article I read written by the great silver era author Charles A. Smith, not only did the author list the contributing factors that give rise to great chest development, but he outlined an intense routine for specializing on expanding the ribcage, which I believe is the ultimate routine and guide to ribcage expansion. Now, if you want to develop a ribcage and be able to, to hit a side chest pose like John Farbotnik does in this phenomenal side chest pose from the Silver Era, then I really hope that you can take some of the information given in this video, and I truly hope that you enjoy it. One of the most important points given in the article to the routine is the breath, and by that I mean the ability to breathe deeply. Uh, the author details the many different names of lung volumes that exist in our lungs, as well as uh, gives brief explanations towards their meanings, which I'm not going to focus too much on. Um, however, he does focus on the most important lung volume for bodybuilders wishing to expand their ribcage being vital capacity, and I wish to expand a little bit on this. Vital capacity, as you can see, I've actually taken the liberty of circling it for you, is the addition of three volumes, your inspiratory reserve volume, tidal volume, and expiratory reserve volume. Tidal volume makes up the volume of air that you would normally take at rest. You probably don't even realize that you're breathing because it is an automatic um, thing that happens in your body, right? And this is tidal volume. When you're at rest, you're taking in a little bit of air and a little bit of it, and a little bit is coming out. That's your tidal volume. When you take a deep breath in, you are going above your tidal volume, and this is called the inspiratory reserve volume. When you take a deep breath out, um, especially once you've filled in your lung capacity and you take a total, a maximum breath out, um, the difference of this total capacity called vital capacity is uh, vital capacity minus the maximum breath in, which was the inspiratory reserve volume plus the tidal volume. When you remove that, you've actually got what's left expiratory reserve volume. Now, the whole point that the author is trying to make is that by breathing in deeply and therefore increasing your inspiratory reserve volume on top of your tidal volume is actually going to lead to the expansion of your rib cage. The more you can actually breathe in, that is the deeper we breathe in, the greater the total lung capacity is going to be because if you start increasing your vital capacity, the, the volume that is, the, remember vital capacity is a volume, if you increase the vital capacity volume in your lungs, your total lung capacity volume is going to go up in your lungs. And therefore, the larger this capacity in our lungs is, the larger our chest. And this is a, an excellent point, obviously made by the author. And the whole point of all this is to simply to exercise deep breathing in your actual bodybuilding routine. Now, before I outline the routine given in this particular article for expanding the rib cage, I'd like to just quickly state that all of these exercises are focusing on breathing, on deep breathing. You must have that in mind. You must have uh, focus on your breathing. That is the most important thing, not on the weight, on the breathing. And now to the routine. The first exercise in the routine, as recommended by many Silver Era practitioners and authors, is the breathing squat. Of course, this time we're focusing on breathing, and so we're going to use a weight that you can handle comfortably for 20 repetitions. You're going to perform 20 
repetitions of the breathing squat where the focus is on breathing. What do I mean by that? You're going to actually perform five to eight deep breaths between each squat repetition. So for example, I load the bar across my shoulders in a back squat position. I take five to eight deep, slow breaths, and then I squat down and I come back up and I perform five to eight deep breaths again. And I repeat that 20 times. That is the 20 rep breathing squat. Once you've done that, you rack the bar and you superset with the next exercise. Of course, you typically in the silver era would superset a breathing squat with a breathing pullover. You're going to again now lay on a bench, choose a moderate weight, uh, keeping your back flat on the bench. You're going to grab the weight, hold it over your chest and slightly bending, bending the elbows. You're going to, as you lower the weight, you're going to take a deep breath in without curving the back excessively. You're trying to expand the rib cage, so you really do want to try and keep your back flat and your spine flat onto the bench. Really focus on expanding the chest, on stretching the rib cage. You lower the weight as you breathe in, then you, as you bring the weight up over your chest again, you're going to breathe out and you're going to start off with a weight that you can handle, handle for eight reps and work up to 15 reps over the weeks. Once you've done this first superset, you are supposed to perform another set of 20 rep breathing squats. And then you're going to superset that with the following exercise. The next exercise now that is supersetted with your second set of 20 rep squats is the straight arm breathing dumbbell fly. Many of you have not heard of this at all and uh, this is exactly why I wanted to bring this article to light. It is an excellent routine which really does uh, introduce many different types of breathing exercises for the expansion of the ribcage. This one is the straight arm breathing dumbbell fly where you again lay on a bench, keep your, uh, your back flat on that bench, use a moderate weight. It's not, about, um, it's not about lifting here. It's not about really having much resistance. It's about breathing. You hold the weight over your chest as shown in the diagram and you lower the weight out to the sides as you would in a dumbbell fly but keeping your arms perfectly straight you want to breathe in and stretch that rib cage and you want to breathe in deeply you want to bring then the weight up as you breathe out and again perform eight repetitions initially working up to 15 reps over the weeks this is your second superset so you've done a superset of breathing squats with dumbbell uh, with a sorry a, a barbell pullover and now you've done a second superset of 20 rep, rep, your 20 rep breathing squats with a straight arm breathing dumbbell fly. Now for your third superset, you're going to perform another set of 20 rep breathing squats and you're going to superset that with the next exercise. So after the third, that is the third uh, set of 20 rep squats, you're going to do lat machine breathing pull downs. You're going to superset those, that third set of 20 rep squats with a lat machine breathing pull down. You're going to take the bar and allow the weight to pull your arms overhead. And as it does, you're going to breathe in again, stretching the rib cage, stre stretching your chest. And as you bring the weight down, you breathe out and you perform this for eight repetitions. Again, for the second rep, allow the weight to pull your arms up over your head, breathing in. Again, the focus is deep breathing. Perform eight repetitions, work up to 15 reps over the weeks. That's your third superset, but the routine is not over yet. <laughs> you're gonna perform another set of breathing squats, 20 repetitions, and then you're gonna superset it with the next exercise. So at this point in the routine, you should have performed three supersets. The first being a 20 rep breathing squat with the pullover. The second being a 20 rep squat with a breathing dumbbell fly. And the third superset being the 20 rep breathing squat with the breathing lat pulldown. Now for your fourth superset, 
perform 20 rep squats and now you're going to superset with dumbbell circular breathing pullovers where you lay flat on a bench with your back flat on the bench no excessive curvature of the spine the weight is held over your thighs and as you take a deep breath in you're going to circle the weights up and out over your head it's a circular motion and it has a different effect on stretching the rib cage once you've taken that big deep breath in and the weights are over your head you're going to breathe out and return the weight to the starting position and repeat this exercise at least for your first session eight times and then work up to 15 reps over the weeks this is another reason why i, I really enjoyed this article because there are so many different types of breathing exercises that are described for the bodybuilder that um, it gives great variety to to um, to the bodybuilder instead of just doing dumbbell pullovers and if you thought that was the end of this routine you are wrong there is one last fifth superset which I'll now explain now the last superset has to be the most intense the most killer out of all of them and that is you perform another set of 20 rep squats this is the fifth superset now and superset that with what is called a breathing shoulder shrug. Now, before you go ahead and load up the shrug with three or 400 pounds and start shrugging the weight, that is incorrect. What you're supposed to actually do is take the bar on your shoulders. And at this, for this particular exercise, you're supposed to take a very heavy weight. You're gonna take the bar on your shoulders like you would in a back squat, like as if you're just unracking the bar to do some back squats. But instead of squatting down, what you're going to do is you're going to take a deep, and I mean, the author actually says, force the breath in as much as possible and then breathe out. I just say take a deep breath in and then breathe out. The fact that you are breathing in deeply with resistance on your back will really strengthen your, your uh, breathing muscles, actually. And you're supposed to actually here perform not 8 to 15 reps like in the other supersets but 20 repetitions of this particular breathing shoulder shrug exercise. And to, I guess, kill everybody off even further, the author then recommends that you repeat the whole five supersets again. I think that personally is too extreme and uh, even doing half of one of these cycles is, is pretty crazy as it is already, but this is the ultimate routine that I have seen for developing the rib cage, for expanding the rib cage. So if you wish to try it yourself, go for it. For the sake of clarity, I thought I would summarize the routine for you very quickly. And here are the supersets listed. Superset one is the 20 rep breathing squat with the barbell pullover. Superset two is the 20 rep breathing squat superset with a breathing dumbbell fly. Superset three is the 20 rep breathing squat with the breathing lat pull down. Superset four is a 20 rep breathing squat with the dumbbell circular pullover. And superset five is the 20 rep breathing squat with the breathing shoulder shrug. Hell, I'm out of breath just saying that. And if that's not enough, the author recommends that you repeat the whole damn routine. That's incredible. So I would say that uh, one whole routine of this, one, one whole um, go at each of these supersets is more than enough. But if you dare, if you dare, you can repeat the uh, five supersets again. That's insane, a killer routine for expanding the rib cage. If you'd like to learn more about Silver Era Principles of Bodybuilding, you can visit www.goldenerabookum.com where you'll find many, many titles, including titles from Reg Park and self-written booklets on Steve Reeves on my website, www.goldenerabookum.com. So I hope that for those of you that wish to develop a majestic side chest pose as shown here by Abe Goldberg from the Silver Era, that if you wish to try this uh, routine out, that you can actually then tell me how you go. Of course, this will work better uh, for younger athletes than older athletes, but of course, um, even older athletes can expand their ribcage over time, over time, of course. Hope you've enjoyed this video on what I consider to be the, the ultimate routine and the ultimate guide to ribcage expansion. I've never seen such an intense routine at uh, tackling um, and specializing in ribcage expansion. 
I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm, and thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my work, please donate via PayPal or become a patron, and you can visit my website for old school bodybuilding courses and books, usually out of print, at www.goldenerabookworm.com. And by the way, all the books are ebooks. A lot of people keep asking me that. Of course, you can also support me by donating your magazines and books if you wish to um, get rid of your own collection because I'm always adding to mine. Anyway, hope again that you've enjoyed this video and that you can apply some of this knowledge for those of you that want to develop a majestic chest. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. Hi everybody, I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker. Volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still not equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day and again, highly recommend this book.